Hey everyone, it's Hindash. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Timmy. In today's video of my full face of monochromance, I'm going to be doing this very romantic, glittery, almost like a, I would say this is more of a bridal look as well. And my model for today is a beautiful Hiba, and I'm going to be showing you how to mix these products to create this very romantic, ethereal look. If you want to see more of my work before I upload it here, then follow me on Instagram at Hindash, and that's TikTok at Hindash as well. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Hiba, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to layer different textures and colors on top of each other to create this really beautiful, harmonious look. And for skincare, I'm gonna be starting off with the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence, a spritz all over the face. And I'm going to be following up with the Dr. Barbara Sturm Super Anti-Aging Serum. And this is a hyaluronic acid serum, so you can use any hyaluronic acid. And I'm gonna be just spreading it all over the face and giving her a nice massage as well by the time that sinks in. And I really love working with thin layers when it comes to serums because then I can add what I feel is missing on top of that, but this just creates that beautiful base for skincare. And taking that down the neck as well. And I'm just tapping it in and then I'm ready to go in with the other products. For eye cream, I'm going to be taking the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream Intense. And because Hiba's dry, I'm going generously with this underneath the eyes, a bit on the forehead and around the mouth. Just any areas that I know makeup would be a bit difficult on with dry skin, so I kind of pre-assess um, those areas. And tapping that in until it sinks in because it's quite a thick layer. And now that she's nice and glowy, I'm going to be moving on to an all-over face moisturizer. And for that, I'm going to be taking the Ombre Release La Creme Concentré and just applying that all over the skin and neck. And I'm just going to be rubbing this in. And you know this is one of my favorite makeup moisturizers because it works every time and it creates this beautiful layer that acts as a primer as well. So I really feel like it holds on to makeup and it just makes the skin look beautiful, especially if you have dry skin. You have to try this um, specifically for makeup application as well. Next, I'm going to be moving on to a bit of color correcting, and this is the Sigma Spectrum Color Correcting Duos. This is light to medium. And I'm just taking that with a fluffy, dense brush, and I'm going to be applying that underneath the eyes in a very targeted way, where I just want to knock out a bit of that redness that she has underneath her eyes. And this is a really beautiful, light, peachy tone. So it's going to counteract and cancel out that color in a really nice way. And honestly, you can just use this on its own and you don't need to go in with another layer of concealer. For foundation, I'm going to be taking my Dior Face and Body Foundation and I'm mixing two colors. I believe this is 2WO and a bit of 2N or 1N because Hiba's quite fair. And I'm going to be applying that with my all-time favorite KVD brush. I use this, I mean, I try to use this in pretty much every video, but I also try to give a bit of variety. And as always, I'm gonna be applying the foundation in a very thin layer as if I'm using a tinted moisturizer. So it doesn't matter how high coverage the foundation is, I always love to treat it as a tinted moisturizer because then I can just conceal any targeted areas after. And that's how you get that really beautiful, seamless, skin-like finish. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the Armani Power Fabric Concealer in the shade number 5. And with that same brush that I did color correcting with, I'm going to be applying a bit underneath the eyes and focusing on the hollow part of the eyes and a bit around the mouth. So basically, this is where I'm going in with uh, not just concealing, but also brightening and highlighting the skin. So targeting those areas that I want to bring forward or conceal. And as you can tell, I'm also tapping the concealer in in some areas where I feel like I want just a bit more coverage because I don't want to lift and move that product around. For lips, I'm going to be applying the Lucas Pawpaw Ointment and just applying a generous thick layer of this. So by the time I get to lipstick, the lips are nice and hydrated and it's done its job. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be taking the MAC Lay and Low Paint Pot and this is a peachy color, so it's again going to neutralize and color correct the eyelids and I'm applying a thin layer all over the lid from the lash line pretty much almost up to the brow bone and I'm also taking a bit of that on the lower lash line because again it does act as a color corrector and I know I want to take the eyeshadow pretty far down on the lower lid so I'm going to be doing this step 
For eyebrows, I'm going to begin by brushing her eyebrows up to kind of figure out the shape and fill any sparse areas. And I'm taking the Hourglass Brow Pencil in Ash and just filling underneath and extending the end of the brow very slightly. This is going to act as a shadow underneath the brow. So very softly flicking it through the brows. I really love this brow pencil and I think the colors they make are beautiful and I love it for kind of a very natural shadow look to the brows. For a bit more structure, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Brow Blade Pencil in the shade Dark Drapes and taking the ink side and I'm going to be drawing in very thin hair-like strokes, again in the areas where she needs it. So where I've kind of outlined the end of the brow and extended it out, I do want to mimic hair-like strokes so it looks more natural. And setting everything with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. So brushing the brows up and neatly into place. I don't want them to look too bushy because I like her brow shape as is. I just want to make them look structured. Next, I'm going to be moving on to the eyes and I'm taking my Hindash Monochromance Gradient Palette. And you can see this is a very romantic, beautiful color story. And I want to focus on the nudes for this look. So starting off with Alter Ego, which is the first shade, I'm going to be going in to the crease and kind of setting the eye and using the lightest shade, which is Alter. With a fluffy crease brush, I'm going all the way in the crease on the inner corners and the outer corners and just fluffing it up to the brow bone. And as you can see, this almost mimics her natural skin tone. So again, it's creating that velvety base for the rest of the colors. As a groundwork for the eye look, I always love using a brown pencil and I'm taking my Hindash Eye Tone Pencil in the shade Intra, which is a very warm reddish chocolate brown. I'm going to be starting off by creating kind of a classic wing. So starting off on the outer corners and extending that wing out. And you can smudge it in with your fingers because it's ultra creamy and very movable and blendable. Now I'm also going to make her look straight ahead so I can really figure out that shape and make sure that it looks beautiful on her eye shape. And taking my smudger brush, I'm going to be smudging in that line so it's nice and soft. Again, this is just the groundwork for the shape of the eyes. I'm going to be adding more to this later, but taking that color all the way into the inner corners with just whatever's left. Now I'm going to go back to my Monochromance palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade Match Made and dipping into that mustardy color. I'm going to be placing that all over the lids with a packer brush. And I know I want this color to be the main color story of the look. So I'm really just packing that on and making sure that we have an even layer and not really worrying about blending it out right now. So again, the same steps on the other eye. I just want that even wash of color all over the eyelid. And now that we have that really warm, beautiful mustard color, I'm going to be going back to Alter Ego and taking a fluffy brush and just blending out the edges very slightly, just so we're blending everything as we're going. And like I said before, Alter Ego is a beautiful blender shade, so you can use it to smudge things around, to clean things up, and to lighten other shades. Now I'm going into Match Made and dipping into the darker shade, which is Made. I'm going to be going over the liner that I've done and just setting it and smudging it at the same time. Now this is more of a neutral brown, so this is going to kind of create that interesting shift in the browns. And what I'm doing with this is I'm also going to be smudging it inwards. So we create that really structured, lifted look. But again, we're going to be blending everything in. So we have that very diffused airbrushed look. And it's really all about the layers, which I really love. Now dipping into the middle of Match Made, I'm going to be kind of focusing on blending the crease and just blending all these colors in together. And these colors are so blendable and so forgiving, so you can just go right in and start blending and don't worry about any fallout. I'm going to be taking the darker color and match made again, and I'm going on the lower lash line this time and just really mimicking what I did on top with the color story. So focusing that darker color on the outer corner and dipping in between Alter Ego and Match Made for the rest of the lower lash line, blending inwards. Okay, now this step is the star of the show. I'm going to be taking my Hindash Color Fluid in Boy Tears, which is an ultra shimmer. I'm going to be taking some on the back of the palette and applying that with a brush to really transform this look into a very shimmery eye look. 
What you do need to know about this product is you need to work fast if you're using a brush and do one eye at a time because it does set and it becomes butch proof and it doesn't move and it's waterproof. So you really wanna work one eye at a time or if you're doing your face, one cheek at a time. And I do love using this with a brush, but if you're a beginner, I would suggest using this with your fingers. It's much easier to do that and you get full control. I've done videos where I use it with my brush and with fingers. I have one coming up where I show you how this really looks on the skin with different application methods. But no matter what method you choose, you really do want to work a bit faster with this. It really does sheer out or builds up. And that's why I really love it. And I'm applying that on the lower lash line and in the tear duct as well for that really romantic look. I decided to try something with my eye tone pencil and boy tears. So I'm taking my pencil in intra and I'm going over the line that I did, but also creating a much thicker liner. So this time I'm really defining the eyeliner and going all the way in and overall just creating a very thick chocolate line, focusing on keeping that shape really structured and sharp. And what I wanna do now is I wanna turn that into a bronze color. So I'm going back into boy tears with a brush and I'm going to be applying that on top of the liner that I did to give it a shimmer. So this would be the same effect as using a bronze shimmery eyeliner. But because we're adding boy tears on top, it does have a waterproof base. It kind of makes it smudge proof. So this is awesome if you want that really long wearing shimmery eye look that just will not budge. And because we have a full shimmery eye look now, I do want a tiny bit of structure. So I'm going in with my Hint Dash Hero Line Eyeliner and creating a very, very thin line from the lash line and mimicking the liner shape, but again, a tiny, tiny wing that you really won't see. It's just to thicken up the lash line. Going back into my Monochromance palette, I'm taking Match Made and applying that mustard color underneath the lower lash line and really smoking it out. So we have that kind of a grungy look. I'm gonna be brightening up the under eyes a tiny bit more with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and around the high points of the face. And taking my Beauty Blender and just tapping that in. Because assessing the eyes now, I just want that really bright, lifted look to the rest of the face. I'm going to be setting everything with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, a very thin layer with a fluffy brush. I'm just gonna be going in all over the face. And I really love this powder for a dry skin. I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful powder. For contour and a bit of bronze, I'm taking the shade Alter Ego and my Monochromance palette and going into the cheekbones. And I'm just using the same brush that I used to apply my powder. And as you can see, this is such a beautiful, soft contour tone for HIPAA skin tone. And I'm really just applying that in all the areas where I need more shaping and more structure. I'm also taking a bit of Alter Ego with a fluffy brush and contouring the tip of the nose, so underneath the tip and across the bridge. I'm going to be taking the shade Heavy Petal and I'm focusing on the light pink shade, which is heavy. And I'm going to be applying that on top of my contour, so pretty high up on the cheekbones, but I'm also bringing it slightly onto the apples of the cheek because I do want that soft romantic look and a bit on the tip of the nose. With a more angled or pointy brush, I'm going to be dipping into Alter Ego and Match Made with the two browns. And I'm just going to softly go over any of her beauty marks and freckles. And emphasizing them, which is something that I really, really love to do. If you feel like you've gone a bit too far, you can dab them with a bit of a beauty blender and you'll be good to go. For lips, I'm going to be taking my Hint Dash Lip Tone in the shade Hush, which is a caramel nude. And I'm going to be outlining the shape of her lips and focusing on outlining just the cupid's bow. So I'm going vertical with the shape and keeping the corners very natural to her own lip shape. Then I'm gonna be taking my Hindash Manifesto lipstick in Rest and Roses, and this is a matte lip balm and it's tinted. It's very universal. It's going to suit very fair skin and deep skin, depending on how you apply it. You can just tap it on the lips for that beautiful flush of a rosy cherry pink which is what I'm going to do on Hiba because I want that really soft, again, very sexy, romantic kind of a vibe. And you can pair this with the Hush Lip Pencil or Intra, which is something that I'm going to do in a future video, which looks so beautiful. And I'm going back into Hush and just going over the edges very slightly. 
I'm finishing off with a bit of boy tears. I'm going to be applying that on the back of my hand, warming it up and applying that on the tip of the nose and the bridge. A bit on the chin. And again, warming it up so it's much more sheer and spreadable. I'm going to be taking that on the high points of the cheeks. So on the cheekbones. And that way creating a very glowy cheekbone highlight. And that completes the look. I really hope you enjoyed this very romantic, shimmery color story on Hiba. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I think this makes a beautiful bridal look as well. It's just a very classic look that's going to look very flattering on everyone. You have these really interesting nudes as a color story, a classic pink blush, and a rosy lip. And I really fell in love with it. And I also love that it has a bit of a grunge feel to it. I don't know how, but somehow it does. Maybe it's a bit of the mustard, but I really feel like the shimmer made it much more ethereal and romantic. And as always, if you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.